The Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG is a wonderful game full of potential fun. The lack of a resource system opens up a plethora of explorable questions like what is the best deck? How to correctly play out certain hands? Is forehead ash the supreme jailbait or is foot ash still better? So many questions and only one mad lad to find answers to all of them in his dueling book field studies. At Professor Sunrise Production! Hello class, Professor Sunrise here. In today's class of Dune with Field Studies, we're taking a look uh, at my last stream, I would say. Yeah, what my last stream. Um, definitely check it out if you haven't been. Link is in the description below. I try to stream more regularly now, so if you want to catch me live, you can do that. This stream I did pretty good. I think I went like 6-1 or 5-1 or something like that. And most importantly, I did play against a lot of unorthodox decks or Sprite. And this episode, I think it is one Runic Sprite and one Runic Striker slash Runic Stun deck. And it's, I think it's very interesting to see how um, Dragon Link actually fares against them because they are quite different. Runic Sprite less so than the um, Runic Sky Striker thing. But I think it's still definitely important to see uh, some actual gameplay against that. I did not play perfectly on those, I think. Um, but it still is very important for you guys to see. So, without further ado, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave some feedback down in the comment section below. And like I said, take a look at my stream. I uh, try to stream Monday and uh, Wednesday-ish. Uh, so definitely check it out. So without further ado, let's get right into the Dooling Book Field Studies. Um, gotta love to see it. Gotta love to see it. We win a rock, paper, scissor. Our hand is at least playable again. How? Wait, is this the third time I just do this? Um... We use the Seyfert here to search that and we banish that. We cannot search boot sector, which is kind of bad, but that's just live. And then we at Wyvern Burster. Uh, we act, we summon Wyvern Burster by banishing that. Then we go into Ravine, search guy. We search the Ravine. And we at the Ravine. Now we can go, we can go dummy mode. We activate Armageddon. We pay 1k to add Seyfert. Put this on the extra deck. Now we can, we have already normaled. So now we can activate the Ravine, effect Ravine, pitch Seyfert, add Lubellion. And we can use Seyfert, banish itself, add Lubellion. So that we actually have our Bissial engine going. Um, and then we can... Where am I in my deck? Uh, I activate Lubellion, of course. Before I do that. So, activate Lubellion. We go into Magnema. And then we do normal combo stuff, right? We activate Magnema, target um, probably the Striker because we want to. Yeah, the Striker Dragon. Effect. Then we use summon Lubellion here. Effect Lubellion. Summon. Uh, get the regained. Then we go for boot sector. Effect boot sector. Summon that. Effect target that. Pop it. And get the. Uh, where is it? The recharger. Now we want to get the Chaos Emperor going. We banish those two and summon a Recycle Wyvern Burster, I think. Banish, banish. Target the Wyvern Burster because we want to resummon the Magnemit so that way we have a Bistil in the Greyford for the regain. Quick launch. Uh, I don't think that does anything here. Uh, but that's fine. We go for Pisty. We go for triple burst effect. 
target that. Uh, so that we have that in gray shirt. We do have a tracer, yeah, okay. Just wanted to make sure. Um, go for this, effect, target that. Actually, I could not, no, this is still correct. The Lebanon is a little wasted here on the board, but it is fine. The, the, the big guy basically replaced itself with the draw ride. Uh, so I think that's worth it. And then end phase, we search a Druze Worm. And we pass. Let's see what they can do. So if we had like a good hand here, we, we're, we're losing one or Numeron incoming. Uh, I hope, I would. I'm just gonna say I'd be fine with that, but I don't know. Why is my fucking thing not working? Why is it not automatically putting the stuff in there? Show the next, maybe it does now. I'm gonna do a quick test here in the chat and see if it gets popped up. I'm not signed in in my, oh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, wait. Why is my oh god damn it? I how can I how can one be this bad? Anyways, <laughs> we will just ignore this. Um, desires. Normally, I'm a huge advocate for negating a desires. Uh, what does this desires mean? No hand traps, desires. Who could be a lot of things. Could be like the zodiac bestial deck. Uh, normally I'm a huge fan for that, and I think I'm gonna stick to that with negating this. Just because it gives the opponent... Okay, it doesn't matter, right? We cannot get rid of that. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with that. Let's banish three, two, three. Could recycle apps, but I don't think I will do that. Mm, yeah, that's fine. No. We already have a Veiler, we probably don't need two Veilers. So it's Runic Stun? Is it pure Runix? I really gotta pee, man. Add. Um, that's fine. Runic Fountain. Ooh, do we want to recycle that? Um, do we want to recycle that? We don't have no we have nothing to draw off the recycle, so that should be fine. We could add that back. Oh, yeah, doesn't really matter. Oh, that's annoying. They're gonna deck us out. Should have recycled. I mean, th then it doesn't really matter, right? Uh, it doesn't really matter. They get to draw three. There's nothing we can do about that. Flash, banish, four, one, two, three, four. Uh, we lost the tracer, which we could have summoned off quick launch. We lost that. That's a bad banish for us. So they've drawn three. D fissure, mm, okay, okay. <laughs> Cannot fail her anymore. But, oh man, I don't know. <laughs> he doesn't spam his hand, it's stun. It's striker. Uh, they do, don't have three, and that, not, not that it matters. Yeah. Oh. This, any monster, this is, does this go to banish? I think this gets banished, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I was pretty clear that it's not stun. I don't know. You could play desires in the stun variant, I guess. Maybe we can still do it? What do you, how do I only play against stun today? That's so annoying. Um, but Borderland is one hell of a card against that deck, right? Mm, not really, they can just use the... Mm, I mean, then you need to use both spells, like the negate and then the pop to destroy it, to deal with it, so... That's pretty good, and we have big beat sticks. Maybe we can just kill them next turn if we didn't lose the tracer. Shark cannon, target tracer. Cannot steal. 
Um, you can't. Why? Two spells in GY? Just ban. Sorry. I think if I want to chain. Uh, I don't mm, think if chain here. Um, because we cannot go into. I would really like to get into a. Um, a what's it called? Into. Um, a Baron next turn with the Drew's Worm to just finish the game off. Um, and I don't think. I. Yeah. I'll, I'll borrow land. Target that. Because I think this is the play. Um, Valens could beat it. Yeah, that, that Valens could beat it. A lot of decks could beat it. Um, I'm just not one of them. Why does this not work? Show the next item automatically. Play the current queue. Oh, okay. So the... Mm. Oh, set four, chill, based. That's so, oh, oh man, I love this. Mm. Magnemat is a good pickup. We just have to get into Baron. Let's, oh man, this is not looking good. Let's use Magnemat, target, pissy. Effect Magna Mud. Um, what's funny about Valence, it could do more to burn than burn deck. Oh, that sounds so fun, man. We definitely have the same definition of fun. Okay, we do have the ability to get into Baron, that is huge. Yeah, 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 they get banished. Chill the fuck out. Uh, that's game, right? That's game on board. So I think we just pop field spell here. Oh, the anchor negate. Um, target one face up effect monster on the field. Negate that face up monster effect. Then if you have three, okay. Uh, chain, Fleur. And if they chain to negate the Fleur, we chain Borrowland on the Fleur to negate its effect so that they cannot steal with Widow Anchor. That is going to be huge. They use Runic Slumber to summon. Which one? So they protect the fountain that way. I am fine with that, actually. Did he set? No, he did not set this turn. It is in, in, in their turn. And uh, my turn. So Runic Slumber to summon. Only thing annoying is that they get to draw two here, but if they don't draw any... Oh, they, they already uh, did that. Okay, I'm fine. Um, I did miss that. Uh, let's go... Do we have more? They didn't go for that. Um, nothing in there. Just need to get more damage on board. Target Magnamet. Um, this is not looking good at all. Now what do we do? Do we just go battle face and hope? I mean, they can 100% summon one more than they draw. That is, yeah, but that's just how life is, huh? Could go normal summon, go into Phoenix, pop one, but that doesn't do anything. Let's just go battle phase and try to go for a game. I think that's the correct play. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay. To summon. That makes sense. So they already use slumber and that. This is got destroyed by battle. You can target one card on the field, destroy it. Oh, that's annoying. Now I missed the lethal with that. Yes, I didn't. Uh, we wouldn't have that lethal anyways, right? If you can protect with that. Yeah. Um, Reattack into this. Target the Baron. Yeah, not like that we could have done with it, uh, anything with it anyways. That's fine, and then we attack for 5k. This also gets... Oh, uh, when this... Uh, no, this does still trigger. Um, it would have been insane, right? If this doesn't trigger, if it goes, gets banished, that would be really helpful for us, but it doesn't. Uh, main two... We have no targets for that. Um, I think we just sit on this one. Uh, we can go for a phoenix. I think that's the play here. Phoenix pop the fountain. And then we keep the recharger in the... Yeah, I think that's it. Um... Sadly, we are missing the bestials. We get a magnum at search, so that's kind of good. Yeah, I think Phoenix try to pop fountain is the correct play here. Even though it's so hard minusing. Yeah, quick launch for Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix. <laughs> Quick launch for Phoenix is the correct play here. We have Valor plus Borderland to get them off Phoenix. The only thing which can screw us up here is them having a negate. Not a negate, it's a way to get rid of the Borderland. Or them just having an additional copy. End phase. We search. Probably the big dragon here. Yeah. The big pendulum dragon, because this gets us the most value. We cannot summon it, sadly, but we can add back Magnumid or Drew's Worm. Why would you ever do that? Probably just Magnumid. Let's see if they have enough. Uh, could have argued, because Effect Veil is also dead, we could have gone for Unicorn for the last set. But if the set pressures the Borderland, which is the win condition we have, it would have come out anyways, right? Uh, so might as well just save it for next turn, maybe for another unicorn on something else. Maybe the second field spell. Oh, man, I really gotta pee. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's see what they do. They just set one. That's a good start. Ooh, 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 mommy, let's go. A lot of sets. Um... Skip battle phase. Uh, yeah, sure. Sure thing. Uh, ooh, a Saronia. That's not good. We cannot... Oh, we can theoretically still get that. But then again, it's just one body. Um, I guess we can normal summon a Valor. Let's... Do we just go battle phase? No, we have to get some things going. I think getting into an access code here is the... But we have no banishes. I guess Valor sent to the graveyard is banished instead. Uh, I, so Emperor also gets banished. What do I get here which helps me? Ooh, we can't know we have Baron banished. Um, I guess just getting Magnamod. Hmm, this is tough. This is very tough because I don't have a lot of bodies. I could go Borrel and summon f one, go into Unicorn, get on the D fissure. Um, and they would probably negate that. And then I could, I would have had to pitch Valor for that, I guess. 
Then I use Chaos Emperor Dragon, get one back, and then I don't have any Lights of Darks in Graveyard. Oh, that is so tough, man. That is so tough. Mm. Hey, but I guess that's the play. Or we just completely skip. Nah, I think that's the play here. Or we just go for Serenia. Summon one. No. Oh, this is so bad, man. This is so bad. Let's target that. Cannot change to that. Hmm. And Shane. Okay, well now we know that one of them is a short cannon. That is very good. That is very good for us. Um. So unicorn seems like a decent play with that in mind. Unicorn pitch. Chaos? No, Chaos Emperor gets us more. Pitch Serenia? And then we normal Valor? Yeah. I think that's the play. Get rid of the Deep Fissure. Oh, okay. That is very good for us. Because now we can... Oh, but they can get rid of the... Uh, we can still access cut off the field, I guess. Um, yeah, let's just... Normal summon Valor. Go to access code. Effect access code. Target this. And then we have two pops, one for graveyard, and we can access code off field, try to pop the field, force out the stuff, and then we can use Chaos Emperor Dragon to add back Bistial and summon itself to have three bodies on the board. That's pretty decent. Oh, and I really gotta pee. I'm just gonna fake alongside next turn because I really gotta pee, man. This this Rockstar is popping in hard. Um, but out, out of that, I think we are fine. <laughs> Other than that, I think we are fine. Shark cannon on... Oh, they have two shark cannons. That is insane. Um, uh, that's a lot of stuff we can run into with Borrowland. So we just access code, pop one. Yeah, yeah, should be fine. I, I assume both of the links. They do have enough spells, yeah. Both links, I assume. I assume. I think if I want to chain other. Okay, so they maybe have even a Widow Anchor. But I think we're good. We are really in a good position. Um, yeah, because chaining another one here makes me think that they have like an Anchor. An Anchor on either of those is not the end of the world because they have basically called by. Okay. Unicorn, that, and they summon Vader, and they banish that. Um, access code, banish itself, pop the last back row. Um, and then we have Magnum ad or Lubellion ad, doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um, and they cannot chain, and we just win, yeah. Yeah, and we just win. Activate. Pay 1k. Oh, wait, we don't win because we cannot even summon, so we have to add back. Oh, we can add back Lubellion, so it doesn't really matter. So we add the Serenia. Summon it by banishing that. 
Go battle fail. Oh man, the, now that my body knows that I can pee, it is really bad. Ah, sick. By the way, uh, until... What? I don't know English. What the fuck? <clears throat> okay, I'm back. Imperator also gets banished. Um, why should the Imperator get banished? Uh, but it doesn't really matter now, right? Um, so what do we do against this deck? Droll seems like okay, but I just don't see how we win this one. Um, we put in the Lightning Storm, even though they're kind of ass, but they at least trade one for one. Hmm. Gotta think for the side here a bit. Sorry. Uh, Droll seems okay. Vayla is really bad, right? So I'd rather see a Droll than a Vayla because they are probably going to pop off a little. I guess Gammas could be fine, but then again, also not. But I guess Gamma is better than Vayla. And we can kick one Serenia. Yeah. Let's do it like that. Everything else just doesn't do enough. And Lightning Storm can come in kind of clutch. And it's looking good. Lightning Storm only baits one, right? But maybe they break. Like Lightning Storm in combination with like um, them committing into a big draw and we having a Vela or a Gamma would have been really good. But other than that, yeah, to, to add... Okay, that is okay because we don't have driver, but this could be really, and we don't top deck it, but this could be kind of ass. Draw here would be insane, but we don't have it. They also didn't play around draw there, right? Let's see. Um, Druid activated. Did they go into main phase? I don't know. Oh, come on, dude. A D fissure. Yeah, we cannot win this unless... No, we can't win this. They will 100% have a protection, and then we just cry. And we don't even have any... Oh, man, this is so bad. Why do they have T fissure? Chain to summon, I assume. Yeah. Um, <sighs> to draw two. That's also fine. Not even waiting for any response. Um. Yeah, the D fissure is really screwing us here. Guess safer. No, this is this is a loss. I cannot play this one. Uh, like our whole hand is dead until we get this removed, and we will never be able to remove this. Uh, oh wait, this was game. This was game one. I get to play a game. Okay. Okay. We can make this work, right? Like our endpot is decent against them, and then we can draw. Hell yeah, heck yeah. Uh, they could shift her, but I mean, they can't really shift her, right? Because then they don't, they can't even plus. I thought for sure this was it. But it's not. Okay. Mm, we do kind of want to um, end on Barone plus Savage if possible. So if we have a rocket access early on and we have a gassy hand, that would be insane. Um... Yeah, rivalry doesn't do enough, right? They don't even play striker monsters. If they played striker monsters, I could argue you could argue to go for rivalry, but they don't play that. Um, they would probably play like some board breakers, like lava golem and stuff like that. But our hand is creamy. Our hand is really creamy. This is full combo. Even stuff like branded beast, etc. They probably don't have any disruption, right? 
And now we chaos space pitch that. I think that should be enough gas. Use that to send um, a regained. Let me think here. So we use these two. Yeah, that should be enough, right? Put into Baron. Um, and then we have two dra with those. We need one more extender. So I guess we'll wait with that until we've maybe gotten an additional extender. Or we try to levy hand rip. We don't have safer excess. So let's just see what happens. We are missing one body. Was Fisher? I think Fisher was already off the field when I used the Emperor, didn't I? But um, it doesn't really matter right now. Let's concentrate on this one. We can definitely win this one. Our hand is very good. Um, so let me think here. We really want, don't want to draw a rocket, so we will use quick launch here first. I can just highly over extend here, right? So we use quick launch here. Then we use cool up serpent. Banish that. Now we use this, banish that. Put this at the bottom, hopefully draw something good. Is safer. That is really fucking good. That is that is the best thing we could have asked for because now we can actually full full combo them. Um but also be sorry for Bex. I don't worry, I'll I'll buzz us. Don't worry, man. And by the way, thanks for the follow. Did I just say thanks? Thanks for the follow. Um don't worry, man. I appreciate all the interaction and feedback because uh definitely on stream I play like ass, so definitely there are times where I don't get something correct, so you're chill, man. You're chill. Um, okay, do we? Yeah, we have because we have. Yeah, yeah, we have everything because we the safer draw really is so crucial here because um, um, we need to get the levy on the board. So not only uh, not only do we get to handle, but also levy can be turned into Lubellion, and then we have everything. We have really everything. Even a lava golem doesn't kill us here because we still end on one disruption through that. So we go for the um, levy send. Do that. Add back the levy. We don't have three. I mean, we do have three, but we don't want to use those exactly. Um, but we kind of have to, right? Yeah, we kind of have to. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's just use these three. One, so that's this one. We shuffle the deck, now we use Lubellion. Attack Lubellion. Get the Branded Beast. And then use boot sector, declare the effect, summon that effect, pop that, summon the recharger. Um, and we go for pisty. We go for, uh, no, we used the wrong one. We go for triple burst, effect of that, summon back the magnamod because we want that in the graveyard, of course. And go into Burl and effect Burl and target this bad boy, summon back the Tracer. Um, and summon the Savage, effect Savage, put back, uh, not put back, activate this. We have a Wyvern Burster in there, which is cute, I guess, in the hand. Uh, effect Burned Beast in end phase, get that. Uh, and we search a Druze Worm. Yeah, so we have a way to get a Bestial on the board. And we pass and hope that is this is enough. This is literally the best board you can build just engine-wise. We could, of course, have a rivalry draw, stuff like that, but just pure engine, this is everything the deck can do. 
So let's see if this deck can break through our pure engine. It was just engine that definitely 100% cannot do that. Um, runic tip to add. Let me think about that. Um, do we negate this with a savage? Granite Beast cannot really run on... Oh, because what are they going to do? They're just going to get a negate, right? But this also gives them an extra draw potential. So I think I negate this. Because this could it could them could get them everything. Uh, and they could get an additional draw. Yeah, I think that's correct to negate. We need them to commit to a monster though. Okay, so they activate the Widow Anchor. I think I am fine with that. Very two for one here. That is okay. Sadly, Branded Beast is not alive because we don't have that. Yeah, but I think it's still the correct thing to just get the spell trap negates. Yeah, that's fine. Because I think if they committed for like Lava Golem Steer Mode, we could have used Regained immediately. So that's pretty good. Um, but they obviously don't have it, so they they would have used that already. Um, and they chain linkage. Oh, they're actually playing striker stuff. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'm not really scared about the striker engine. Just because it opens up my regained. And they search, and we have to banish one. Probably search field spell, we banish one. Target anchor, probably. Target. Anchor. Uh, chain regained. Magna. Uh, and then chain that. Target that. Uh, we do summon the recharger here just because it is a little stickier. Um, it cannot be run over as easily. Now we activate the Magna map. And we have even have the Druze Worm send Kagari if we want to. Afterburner. They have three spells, so we have to negate this. But I think I'm fine here. I'm super fine. Desires. Okay, that's a good one. That is a good one. Um, yes. But I should be fine, right? Unless they get exactly the, the spell negate one. Uh, the spell pop one. But other than that, I should be fine. Talons. Oh, draw probably. Yeah. Okay. Suddenly they have four cards in hand. Suddenly I'm not so fine anymore because now the draw four, the likelihood of them having the spell pop is not too low. Um, okay, let me think. Yeah, yeah I think there's not. I think even if I don't have the ability to disrupt the, the field spell, what is wrong here? Neighbors are going crazy. Okay, they actually went for that. Uh, end of main phase, we uh, end of main phase. We use the Druus Worm because we want to get rid of the Kagari, I think. Yeah. Druus Worm, target, um, rocket tracer, I think. Yeah, GG's. There, we had everything there. We would have popped the fountain. Uh, one off the engage. Can't be too mad about that. You've drawn... F you've been using uh, desires. Okay. <sighs> Mashallah, we won this one. Uh, that was way too close to my liking. Um, because this fucking feature chat thing is not working how I want it, I'm just gonna put on my old ass-looking chat thing. Um, and just... It looks so bad though. Oh, why? I can't put it nowhere. The font is ass. Why is my profile thing? Well, let's quickly go into a solo game uh, and see. Oh, this is. I mean, here it looks fine, right? But with the overlay, which is in a normal game, there doesn't really look good. Maybe I have to make it black, but I can't do that right now. Just, I'll just leave it here for for a second. Um, see how it goes maybe put it at the bottom i think i had it at the bottom and this is i think the, the cleanest it's gonna be maybe make it a little bit 
bigger. Let's see how it looks in there. Oh man, that's way too big. Um, yeah. Here it looks best for now. Uh, who are we up against? Oh man, I think I played against this person a bit. We lost the rock, paper, scissor. Thanks, man. Um, have a nice day at work, buddy. Why is this... Why, where's the... Why does this work in all of a sudden? Anyways, uh, yeah, we let the PR resolve. Have a good one at work. Ah, now, now we are in the struggle zone. To summon, let's quickly, uh, yeah. Have to think on that one. Oh, pitch Aperia. Um, quickly have to move the chat a bit. Yeah, let's just put this right in the middle. Mm -hmm. Let's just put it right here for now. Uh, I think because they've used one, I'm going to imperm this. And then Vela on the gigantic summon, hopefully. Oh, they have a blue. That's not good. Um, yeah, I think I have to wait for Gigantic. Just because I want to make the minus of the elf. Because they will probably elf for Iperia. Uh, this was a little risky with the um, Imperm on that. But if they have any other runic card, they plus way too hard of that. They get double cross, yeah, that's to be expected, but I think, yeah. Have to hit the Baylor here, Baylor on that. And then they will go for Iperia on the Elf, and then we will Magnum at that. <clears throat> on Shell, and we will Magnum it. In fact, Magnamat, search safer probably, and then we have like a decent hand. It's really not nothing crazy, but it is workable. Also, maybe want maybe wanted a Lebellion, um, because these deals are just really good, and we can force out double cross and elf with that. Um, We'll probably go for that. Safer doesn't do enough. It does get double crossed. Then I have nothing. Yeah, Safer doesn't do enough. I need to get Lebellion here. Then I draw. Recharger. That's actually not that bad because it is a normal summon. Can't be too mad about that. Uh, yeah, they can. On Iperia, that's fine. You don't. That's so bad, because now I theoretically have talents open. Uh, we add probably a Druid's Worm. Yeah. Sure thing, buddy. Okay. Um. I don't want to force out the double cross. Let's activate regain here to get a draw. Target jet. They cannot revive it. They chain smashers. That is what I was fearing for. But that is really bad for us. Probably the regained, right? Because they think... Yeah. But now they don't really have the follow-up. Um... Double cross, steal that. Egg, and now we normal summon recharger. Go into a striker dragon. 
affect Striker Dragon. They negate that. I am fine with that. Banish three. Yes, daddy. One, two, three. No hit there, but I think we're fine, right? We. Yeah, we should be so fine. We banish three here. One, two, three. Effect to pop. Uh, what do we want to pop here? We definitely want to pop the rebellion. Uh, rebellion there, just in case they have a pixies. Or a sec. Okay. Oh, okay. Never mind. They have a. Uh, they have a bestial. Oh yeah, true. Ah, true. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, definitely. Uh, none of that really matters. It didn't. Oh, that it matters. It does matter a bit. Um, can we extend here? Let me think. Uh, we could go ravine guy. <laughs> I, I keep calling him ravine guy, huh? Ravine pitch, druze worm, sand. What exactly? We have normal, safer at back. Divineer doesn't accomplish a lot. So I think it's just seal pass here. Oh, but seal bounce blue is really fucking bad. <laughs> seal bounce blue is really bad. And I couldn't have done it other. Uh, ravine does out the blue, and I can commit into that. Or I can go into dark summon gigantic. Mm, dark summon gigantic summon unicorn also basically is just the same thing i kind of want to out that this levy once per turn and only use this effect connect with we can summon this twice per turn right do we do we have the materials then i think we have right we have resolved magnum we haven't resolved magnum this turn but we, yeah, I think because we need to out this one. Uh, I think Ravine here is the correct play. And just to make sure, yeah, we do have enough. So this way we get to seal, we do sacrifice our Druze Worm, but we get rid of the blue, which is super crucial in this top deck war. Um, by the way, yeah, let's get rid of that. We do do some, some more damage. They don't have battle phase. Uh, oh, they didn't have a battle phase. That was maybe a little... Nah, that should be fine. Um, yeah, I just remembered that they didn't have a battle phase, so... But I still think it's correct to get rid of the blue. Um, they couldn't force the seal, but th that additional body is just breaks it at this point. Um, it's just way too much, and we do have should be have enough uh, follow up with just seal uh, summon magnumet. Oh, that's a very good pickup. That do be indeed a very good pickup. But our hand, uh, we. If run through both cross a uh, uh, little double cross and smashers, right? Where's the smash? Oh, it's right there next to that. Um, so we should be good. We should be good. Search Jed, summon Jed, pack Jed. That is fine. We think on rest here. Think on rest because they can go into elf, elf summon Iperia. No, Iperia is banished. Yeah, I think I'm fine with them. 
What are they trying to tell me here? One sec, please. Somebody's at my door. NP. <clears throat> so we have some time to think here. Um, they could go into Elf. They could go into Sprint. They probably don't play Angler. And even if they do, this is not even the end of the world. Um, they don't really have a strong summon of Elf, so that doesn't really do anything. I can still just wait. So Elf doesn't do anything. Gigantic, we can just bounce that. So that also doesn't do anything. Uh, sprint, Sand Angler. Um, sprint, Sand Angler, Summon 2. Then they go into Gigantic. They also are just with, with one body. Um, they could go into Mannequin Cat, though. But I don't have... I think I think we are fine here. If we, we don't have to use Seals. Everything but Mannequin Cat, and they're only left with one body. I mean, even with Mannequin Cat, they're only at one body. So as long as they don't have an Ash, I am fine. They cannot start off for Red. Um, I should be fine, as long as they don't have Ash. If they have Ash, we are in big time trouble. In big, big time trouble. They go for Elf. Elf probably summon like pff, what do they summon here? Like another elf, I guess. Yeah, elf on elf. I guess that's kind of nasty now that I think about it. I mean it's not the end of the world. But that is kind of annoying. Set two, okay. They go into end phase. Yes. In end phase, in end phase, effect, we bounce the one in the extra deck so they don't have targeting protection. We do have both of them, but at this point they don't do enough. We summon Magnumad, effect Magnumad, this one resolves now and we get to... What do we want to add? I think the big... <laughs> it's time for the big... Pendulum guy, yeah, at back safer, this gets me, yeah, 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 it's the big pendulum one. And then we get a quick launch, that's pretty good. I think we shotgun that quick launch immediately, before they can negate that with a carrot, and then we can go into a barone really fast. I think we use recharger, right? Yeah, we don't have recharger. Nothing on their part. Okay, that's a big punishment, my, my friend. That's a big punish. The Baron comes comes in really good a lot of times. Target. Probably negate that. Mm. Yeah, let's negate that. If they have an imperm, they have it. And we can still run over the. Uh, I mean, unless they have pixies, we cannot run over that. Ooh, slumber. To protect. Interesting. Uh, yeah. One, two, three. But now we just, yeah, that's, I'm so fine with that, right? Because I activate this. Yeah, I activate this search rebellion. It's just a starter. We can just use that pop. It cannot be destroyed by battle, right? The first time, the next time, okay. Uh, to the extra deck, we do have a dark and a light in there. We probably want Lubellion, uh, probably Magnum, because oh, we still have one, so we want a Lubellion. Uh, 
We use the belly in here. Yeah, they just scoop. Um, actually, because I'm feeling it, I'm gonna put on. Nah, I don't feel it that much, honestly. I want to put on some music. The problem is with music, I I cannot make it so that you cannot hear it over my microphone if I have it on my speakers, uh, and I don't really want to have a headset on. But if you want some music, definitely let me know, and I could put in on some nice music. But if I don't have music on, you can do your own music. So that's also kind of clean for you guys, not gonna lie. Um, what's the last thing we side out here? Probably another bestial. Let's side out the Lupelian. Yeah, right, um, let's side out one of them. Drusworm is kind of clean in this matchup. I wanna have one more Drusworm actually, just because it forces out so much on the board. This hand is ass. It's maximum ass. Can't be much more ass than it is. To summon, probably, yes. Do we veil this? Can't really deal with the runics on top in a grind. We can outgrind. Ooh, smashes. That probably means they have a decent hand. Mm. Can I deal with just Runix? I think I can deal with just Sprite just because we have a Talents. If they do have a Talents, so be it. We just die to that. They go for Elf, get to draw one, yeah. But them not having Smashers is already pretty decent for us. Oh, that's a good top deck, yeah. To search, oof. This is the second time, by the way, I've drawn Driver this session. Not gonna lie, I don't like it. Save it off the top. Gone is pretty good, because then we can actually play next turn, maybe, with a good top deck. They have only Capture, we don't have a Bistil for that. That Bistil here would have been so clean, but we don't have one. They had no way to play around that. Um, so they summon Gigantic here. And they can full be still oh, come on, driver. Why are you stuck in my hand today? Blue jet search trap go into second elf. And then they pro oh, they even get to draw three here. Oh man. That is very bad. That is very bad. Yeah, yeah. Man, that ca if he had one, oh man, if we had one bestial there, that would have been so clean. Um, just because the hand was kind of ass. But we should probably. Oh, that is very. Why did they go for the draw first? Just, mm, that doesn't really matter that hard. Another starter would be very good for them as well. But I don't think we can play this one. We have. Well, two cards. We have Safer plus Talents, basically. They even have a Mannequin Cat here. And target on once in your opponent's graveyard special summon it. Yeah, I can't. Just wanted to say. Just wanted to say. They cannot use Mannequin Cat here. Hmm. So. Uh, what happens here? They probably go for Elf. But with five cards in hand, the talent. Uh, we need a good top deck, so basically Lubellion. And we need a good talent. It's probably draw just because our hand is so bad. Quick launch is, is a card at least. Um, let's normal summon now let's start off with a quick launch maybe they will use mannequin cat or something we use the mannequin cat yes i'm fine with that because that means maybe i would probably go for end of anubis oh chaos hunter um okay I will go for talents here, I think, to take or to draw, take. And they have a judgment, and we can go into the next one. <laughs> that
That was kind of fast, but to be expected, honestly. Uh, rivalry will be insane. Talents won't be. Gamma won't be. Uh, and we need one less Druze for... Yeah, hand was way too bad. Like, you, you've seen it. Way too many breaks. Uh, or, like, cards which are just not good enough going second. Going first, it would have been fine, of course. Um, you can make use of Tracer and save it because Recharger. And not Recharger, because of Food Sector launch. But going second... It is not what we want to see. This is kind of clean, though. This is kind of clean. Uh, we can start with a quick launch. Summon the Tracer. Here we can use Noctovision. And now we can go into that. Chain link. One chain link two. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> one step ahead. Now, <laughs> uh, just strike it. Like, I don't know what was happening. <laughs> um, Anything on reds here? Probably not. Now we go for the uh, b -b 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 Romulus. Now we go for one, two. Search Ravine. What would have been? Oh, Magnumetra would have been kind of clean. We do another Lubellian. Oh, come on. That's not what we want to see in here. Um, we actually needed an ex. Standard, but we can still use Ravine for that. Uh, let's activate the Lubellion here. We search a Magnemat. We activate a Regained. And we recycle a, a Striker Dragon, I guess. Striker. Uh, one, two. <laughs> Wait, yeah, man. The new, new, new hidden striker, uh, Link 2 Dragon. It's kind of... So don't tell anyone else. Ooh, mommy. Ooh, mommy. <clears throat> interesting, interesting draw. Um, this is kind of clean because now we can skip the boot sector launch i will just quickly do this here and we can hand loop and who doesn't love a clean and nice hand loop and i'm not talking about masturbation <laughs> get it because anyways um we haven't normal right no we haven't so we normal summon safer go into that uh, can actually go get the Chaos Dragons running as well. Yeah, might, might as well want to do that, right? Yeah. Um, at Wyber Burster. We can just skip the boot sector launch. We don't need it. Yes. Um, effects. I'm a little scared, but yeah, we, we don't need it. There probably is not any disruption this deck does has against us. And we can even keep the Lubellion on the field, which is kind of clean. Uh, we banish the Tracer. We need three darks. So we need to get cool up certain in there as well. So we have to use it later on, which is not that big of a deal. But it is kind of annoying, right? We have one, two, yeah. We need one more additional one. But uh, there probably won't be a nib, and even if there is, uh, I'm just gonna cry about it and say the world is so unfair. Yeah, we have one additional body. But that should be fine. Um, 
effect, target the regained, pop it, get the recharger, go for borrow, and effect, target, summon this back. We are going for the savage dog, 21 savage. You know how it is. Target triple burst. And then we use safer. Banish. At the levy. We've already used that. We don't have it on the field anyways. We banish one, the two, and the tres. Effect levy. One, two, three. Put that back. And then, this is actually where a rank 8 would have come up. Maybe you could consider playing like zombie... Zombies? Not zombie. This is it zombie sign? I think it's zombie sign. We set one, end phase, branded beast. And we get to add Druze Worm here. And then we pass on this kind of good boy. I mean, rivalry just alone will kill them, right? Yeah, GG's. Just a quitter, huh? Just a quitter. Um, let me think about playing a zombie stein here. Zombie stein. How often will this come up? Probably not enough, right? Are there more? One could play like the melody package. So we can add more of those. I don't know if that's worth it. But if we have those, you could argue for a zombie stein. But I have to go on the toilet again. Oh, look at me. Toilet break. Oh, man, the energy is just screwing my PC. 